Alrighty guys, what is going on? Ligita29 here and welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP server guys. So currently Fluffy and Dan are on doing some work. So if I try to sleep, we can see here I've already tried it once. Let me move my chair up quickly because I don't want to be too far away from the mic. But as you can clearly see, we can't sleep. So I've got to do this recording in the dark, I guess you could say. But firstly guys, uh, I need to get my torches out because... One thing I need to come up with right now is a way to light up the back of this house. Now, there's windows here. You can't light the torch here. can't place it. I could put it on the ground, maybe hide it behind the furnace. That could be an idea. But one thing I want to do is before we do anything, do we have carpeting? Uh, do we have any wool from any sheep? We have two, but I don't think that's going to cut it. So it looks like we're not going to be able to. What I had a thought to do was to put carpeting down, we could put some glowstone under it once we do the group nether event, and that could be cool. But I guess we'll have to wait for a little bit longer to do that. But between episodes, I have done end presses on now as well. Between episodes, I have done a little bit of work. It's only been like a day and a half between episodes. So uh, last episode went on Sunday. This is Monday as I'm recording this for Wednesday. So that's how. That's why really not much work has been done. But I have installed a farming area under the house. Now I had this idea uh, back on Purge Season One when I was building my new house, but we never got around to it because we reset the world. But we now have an under, under house farm, so we can keep the cow in here. I went out right before this recording and I grabbed one of the cows. And what we're going to do now is, before we do anything, we're going to head out into the woods. We're going to look for one more cow. Prez, I am bringing the saplings that spawn. Alright, so it looks like Fluffy's bringing saplings. But what we are going to do is we are going to <laughs> look for a cow. There's a lot of pigs around, but I don't have any carrots. So I can't bring them into my farm. So the cow is the last resort. Now, the thing we have to do- Ooh, is that a cow? No, that's a zombie. How did I get a zombie mixed up with the cow? I don't even know. Also, a little bit of lag right now. I do apologize for that in advance. It's, it has to happen when there's a ton of people in my house. Right? Is that three creepers? That is a Minecraft player's worst nightmare right there. But what we have to do is not get pigs everywhere. If we could get maybe one cow, all I need is a single cow in this forest. So that way I can start breeding them because once I start breeding them I can get an infinite amount of steak and that'll be really cool Prez has a really nice cow farm set up at his base. He actually has a ton of different farms set up right now I would go and buy food from him. I'm running out of food as you can see this is my last and cryogen so many people are on right now, but There are just I don't want to have to make the trek all the way because if you look on my not that if you look at my f3 I'm a good 2,000 blocks away from spawn or negative 800 on the other end on the X so it would be an absolute pain to go and go to his house. His house is close to spawn. I've been there before. It would be a pain to just go and buy cows from him. But so we're not going to do that. But what we are going to do is we're going to track down, track down a cow. I'm going to cry. I'm like, I'm literally going to cry if the only cow in the entire spruce forest is the one that's in our farm right now. Because that means we can't breed him. We can't do anything. That's just so upsetting. Poor cow. He's all alone in there. This pig here. The pigs in the woods are mocking the cow. They're like, haha, we can't get caught, but the cow can. They're like, oh, that's so funny. Actually, wait a minute. What we can do is we could maybe set up a sheep farm. Do sheep? Yeah, sheep follow the wheat. So maybe what we can do is we can set up a sheep farm instead. I think that would actually be a really smart idea because sheep in 1.8, if you guys have been living under a rock for about a year now, you will know that, you won't know that 1.8 added mutton to the game. So now sheep will drop mutton. So if we bring the sheep into here. So now we have two animals. Now if we go back into the woods, maybe we can find another sheep. That would probably be the smartest thing. Also guys, I'm trying to do more work in these purge episodes. I do a lot of off-camera work. I just listen to music and I just play. And I want to start putting some of that playtime into my actual videos. So if you guys enjoy me doing these kind of these, I guess you could say like uh, kind of boring tasks. I know I enjoy just listening. Really? Now we find cows. Come here, buddy. We're going to bring cows and sheep into this pen, it looks like. Come here, cow. Just want to make sure I don't hit a tree. Come here. You coming? Come on. I don't want you. I want you to come with me. You're just not attracted to it anymore. You're attracted to it now. Do you want to follow? Do you not? Do you, do you just hate me? Do you not like me? Here. Wheat. Follow wheat. Good. Can we go? We can keep going. I gotta stay close to the cow, that way he doesn't lose the attraction to the wheat. Where is our house? Is down here. Okay. Come on, Bessie. We're gonna go to the farm. Let's not get stuck on a tree here. We're gonna go to the farm, Bessie. Come on. Come here. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Did you really get... Here. Wheat. Yes, follow the wheat. Wheat. Hello. Bessie. 
you gonna you gonna follow the wheat with me? It would it would really it'd be beneficial to me if you could follow this wheat. Do we have to like re make you re attracted to it? Come here. GG. Oh my gosh, he's just getting time to strike. Bessie, let's go. Let's go. Let's push forward. Let's push forward. Yes, there we go. Finally, she's a tr she's following us again. Come on. Let's just get through the trees. Just get through the tree line. How much longer do we have? We have a few more blocks to go. Come on. You can do it. Who's on again? Okay, Prez just left again. Come here. We s oh, you've got to be kidding me. Bessie, we've got to go around. Come on. We can do it. Just go around the wheat farm. Come here. We're so close. Come on. All right. In here. In here. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We have our cows. Now what we can do is we can breed these two cows. So we can have three cows. Finally. Yes. Whoa. Did that number just teleport through here? I think he did. But now we have three cows. Very, very nice. I think we're going to... Let's get rid of this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh god, the lag. The lag scared me there. Let's go. Let's eat this here. And then hit him. I don't want him to blow up. That'd be very bad. Alright, there we go. We're safe. We're safe. Phew, that was terrifying. If that creeper had blown up, he would have blown up the side of our house. And that would have not been fun. But let's go back into the woods and let's try to track down one more animal. Hopefully a sheep, because if we have two, if we have some sheep and some cows breeding in that farm, that'll be very good. And I have a Skype message that I will check after this. If we continue to get them, I'll pause the recording and check that. Now we, you see, the one area that I don't go to before has all of the animals. Since we're not going to be doing, using pigs in our farm, let's get, let's kill some pigs. Because we're not going to be killing the cows for a little bit of time. Since we're going to let them breed up a little bit. But we'll get rid of some of the pigs in the area. That way we can have some food in the meantime. And that'll be all good. We'll probably build another farm. Oh my god, there's a skeleton and a zombie here. It's a monster party. Alright, got them both. Is there any more... Are there any more pigs around here? Or am I just completely blind? There's a skeleton here is what there's here. Come here, friend. Goodbye. You are done. Do we have any more pigs in the area? I would like to find maybe like... Oh, there they are. There's the pack of pigs that we need. Come here, my friend. Come here. Alright, let's get rid of you. Oh my god, that sword knocked him so far. There we are, another piece of meat. I remember a back, I remember a time in Minecraft, I believe it was before version 1.3, which came out in the summer of 2012. I remember a time where mobs, there was always a chance when you killed them that they wouldn't drop any food. But with 1.3, they changed it so where, this is like a pig tree, isn't it? There's a lot of pigs hanging out in the trees today. But they changed it in 1.3. To be where the animal would always drop the food item. You would you would get one, two, or three of it. And I always enjoyed that feature. But I still miss the time where you would have one pig in the woods. And you needed food. And you'd kill that pig. And he just wouldn't drop the food. That always... That was the worst feeling back in the old days of Minecraft. Minecraft is amazing now. And with 1.9... I talked about this in the last purge. 1.9 is looking absolutely amazing for Minecraft and I'm very excited to see all of the cool stuff that they're going to be adding for combat. It's going to make survival games and other PvP based mini games really fun and I should probably talk about that guys. While I was sitting down watching Netflix on my iPad last night I had this idea for a series. It's going to be a series that's going to premiere on Thursdays. I'm not sure. Does our sky change when we open inventory? Yes it does. I'm not sure when I'm going to start premiering it. It'll probably be starting fairly soon. But the idea for the series, I'm not going to share with you guys. I tweeted about it saying I had such an amazing idea. And honestly, this could be such a fun series for you guys. If you guys are longtime Minecraft YouTube viewers. So if you watched Minecraft back in 2012, 2013, even 2011 is for some of you. I wasn't back in 2011. I started watching Minecraft in January of 2012 was when I first got Minecraft. It was Linky1029, this username right here. And there's the idea involves... A lot of the stuff that youtubers used to do back then and that's all I'm gonna say it, it happens on Thursdays involves old Minecraft stuff and it's gonna be with some other youtubers I've told trio to trio about it trio to gamer He's a good friend of mine on YouTube got like almost he's got 2,000 subscribers almost 3,000 really awesome youtuber uh, You should go check him out if you haven't already But I mess I messaged him on Twitter about it last night and he thought it was a good idea as well So this is gonna be fun. It's gonna really it's it's an original series idea and I think it could be really cool. As long as you guys are up for a new series. It has nothing... Well, I shouldn't say nothing. It could have to do with PvP. It could have to do with minigames, maps, custom maps, mods, anything. It all revolves in this series. And it's such a... In all honesty, it's probably one of the best. It's probably... If, it, if we can time it right and we can make it go really well, it could be one of my most popular series on my channel. I'm already predicting because... 
it'll get the audience of a lot of the old Minecraft people, the people that used to watch Minecraft a lot that don't watch it anymore. They could really benefit from this, and I think it's going to be really cool. So if you guys are excited for that, please be sure to leave a comment down below and leave a like. It'd be very great to see all of the support on today's Purge episode. I'm trying to get more Purge episodes out for you guys since I haven't been doing them for a while, and I really want to bring you guys more content from the server since everybody's really getting active on it now, which is so fun. Hopefully in the next episode, I mentioned in the previous episode that DJ had done work on spawn, but I was wrong. Fluffy lied to me. Fluffy's a liar. But DJ has not started work on spawn, but hopefully he should have some time this week to do it. And by next episode, which will probably come out next Sunday or Saturday, I'm not 100% sure yet, uh, we will be able to go to spawn and check out some of that work. So anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Purge SMP server. If you did, please leave a comment down below. It'd be very much appreciated. We're going to the 10-minute mark in the video here, and that's what I like to keep my videos at. So actually, we're at the 11-minute mark now, but I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, I've been Lincoln1009. See you all.